In this video, I tried beating Terraria using scythes only, but because there are only two scythes in the game, I decided to install a mod that adds a whole arsenal of scythes. And to make things even more interesting, each and every single one of these scythes in my inventory can attack at the same time. Just how crazy will things become? Stay tuned to find out. Alright, let's get started. So I'm gonna chop down some trees for wood, of course. Okay, that's a good amount of wood for now. So to get my very first scythe is pretty simple. There are two options here. I can make the lead scythe that takes only 10 lead bars and 20 pieces of wood, or I can go to a snow biome and try to make the icicle scythe. And this one only takes 50 ice blocks and 30 pieces of boreal wood. I'm kind of leading towards the icicle scythe because it's definitely a lot easier to make and it has more damage. But of course, for this video, I'll be trying to craft all of these sites. But for now, let's try to find a snow biome to make the icicle scythe. Okay, we found the egglet. So if I do find the anklet of the wind, I can craft lightning boots later on. Oh! Okay, here's a chest. Okay, magic mirror. I'll take that. And we also have an anvil here. Okay, you know what? I actually have... The lead bars are ready, so we're just going to make the lead scythe. Just so I can start killing some monsters right away. And this one unfortunately does not have a special effect, but that's to be expected. It only does have 8 melee damage. Okay, and we reached the ocean, which means the snow biome is not here. So let's teleport back home. And let's start exploring the left side now. Okay, here is the snow biome. So let's start collecting some ice blocks. And then we'll get the boreal wood after. Okay, there we go. We got 50 ice blocks. And that's enough boreal wood. Okay, let's make the icicle scythe now. Perfect. And this one does have a ice projectile. Oh god. Okay, let's just cover ourselves up. Now the next scythe that I'm going to be making is the Thistle Rose. It only has 6 melee damage, however, it does have a huge 50% critical strike chance, and it does have a projectile attack. So I'm gonna need a Jungle Rose, 10 Jungle Spores, and 30 rich mahogany wood. It is nighttime now though, so I'm gonna have to wait until the daytime, because it's just way too dangerous to be out at night. So yeah, I'm gonna be exploring the ice biome to see what I can find. Ooh, okay. We found a ice chest. Ah, oh, okay. Unfortunately, we got the ice boomerang, which we don't need. I was hoping for the flurry boots or the blizzard in a bottle. Okay, there's another ice chest down there. Are you serious? Okay, now do I want to go back down there to get the ice chest or just go straight to the jungle? I think I'm just going to go straight to the jungle. We can always go back later on. But for now, our priority is to make the Thistle Rose. Okay, we've got a Gravitation Potion. And here's my first Life Crystal. Okay, what do we have in here? Oh, there we go. Got the Anklet of the Wind now, so I can make Lightning Boots whenever I find the Goblin Tinkerer. Okay, we got the Suspicious Looking Eye, so whenever I'm ready to fight the Eye Cthulhu, I can just summon it. We got Shoe Spikes. Are you serious? I I didn't think that was a dead man's chest. Okay, I mean, I guess I can just start building a little house to sort out my inventory because it is quite full. Okay, that's all sorted out. Now to speed up my mining, I'll be making the gold pickaxe as well as the full pumpkin armor. There we go. That gives us 10% increased damage. So we're at 20 melee damage for the icicle scythe now. And let's go ahead and build some NPC houses. There we are. Okay, let's head back to the jungle now. Okay, and we're back to where I died. Let's see what's inside this chest. The Band of Regeneration. Okay. And then inside here we have... Ooh, okay. We got Feral Claws. Okay, that should be enough jungle spores. We have 12 now. All I need is 10. Okay, and that's enough rich mahogany wood. So all I'm looking for is the jungle rose. 
Oh my god, that was just enough diamonds for a hook. Okay, I'll make the diamond hook whenever I go back up onto the surface. Oh my god, is that it? Please tell me that's it. No, what? Is there like a chance for it to drop instead of it being guaranteed? Oh my god, that's a nymph. Okay, I do want that metal detector though, so I am going to kill you. There we go. Oh, okay. We found the lucky horseshoe. Okay, please tell me that's it. It's not, of course. Oh my- No way that happened. Oh, I just dropped 40 gold. Okay, well, I'm back on the surface, which means I'm gonna go and make the diamond hook now. Okay, and now let's head back. Okay, got all my gold back. What's inside here? Okay, another magic mirror, don't need. Oh, okay, there's a life crystal right beside a chest. Let's go. Okay. Just what I was looking for. Hermes boots. And that's going to bring us to 300 health. But I have still yet to find the jungle rose. Apparently it only has a 5% drop rate. Okay, I found a cloud in a bottle. Okay, just two more until I max out my health. Okay, now let this be the jungle rose. Okay, please tell me this is going to be it. That has to be the jungle rose. I spent so long already in the jungle. Please? No way. Okay, and here is my last life crystal. There we go. I have max health now. Okay, this is kind of getting ridiculous. I'm finding so many nature's gifts, but the jungle rose is just nowhere to be found. Oh my god, that is a voodoo demon. Okay, I'm gonna go kill it just so I can get the voodoo doll and I'll be ready to summon the wall of flesh whenever I get to that. There we go. Okay, I've had enough. I'm just gonna make my own jungle floor. So I have a better chance of getting the jungle rose. Okay, the jungle rose farm is now complete. All I have to do is wait for the jungle grass to grow on these mud blocks. Oh my god, finally. You guys don't know how long that took. Oh my god. An hour and 30 minutes just to get this jungle rose. Okay, I can finally progress through the game. Let's go. Okay, I can finally make the Thistle Rose. Seriously? Oh. Ugh. Okay, I thought the weak modifier took away its damage, but didn't, thank god. Alright, now let's see how our attack looks like. 3, 2, 1. There we go. Oh, you know what? No, I'm, I'm doing this instead. Look at the attack speed on this thing. That is crazy. Okay, I think I'm ready for my first boss. So I'm just going to build a quick platform and then summon the Eye of Cthulhu. And then let's put down a campfire. And we should be good to go. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Um. Yeah, I think my... Thistle Rose is only dealing 1 damage and then 2 damage if it crits. Okay, wow, this is really weak. Okay, here we go. Oh, now it does more damage because the second phase, right. And you're done. Okay, we got the Shield of Cthulhu now. Okay, now that the Eye of Cthulhu has been defeated, it's actually time to face off against another boss right away, which is going to be the Brain of Cthulhu. And after I defeat that, I can then make another scythe. And this scythe is called the Tissue Scythe. It has 30 melee damage, and it only requires 20 tissue samples and 15 crimtain bars. So let's head over there right now. Okay, and now let's build an arena. 
Okay, three platforms should be good. Now let's go ahead and break three Crimson Hearts. And that's three. Let's go up. All right, here we go. Okay, I think I accidentally summoned a cloud. Oh, no, I did. Okay, well, this one does not count, I guess. And you are dead. Okay, I am going to redo that boss because I didn't know I had the Crimson Cloud. That was kind of in play up here. So let's go ahead and break three more. Okay, let's make sure to toss that away. Okay, and here's the last one. There we go. Toss that Undertaker away. Okay, this is the real run. Okay, it's going pretty good so far. We're not taking too much damage here. Oh yeah, clump them up. Just like that. One more. There we go. Okay, second phase. Almost done. Oh god. Which one's real? This one. This one. There we go. Let's make some crimtain bars. And now, I can make the tissue scythe. Okay, we got annoying on it. Um... You know, since we killed it twice, I do have enough materials to make the full Crimson Armor set with the Deathbringer Pickaxe. So I think I have some to spare to make another Tissue Scythe. Okay, we got Forceful on it. As long as there weren't any negative modifiers on it, then I'm good. Alright, let's see what this thing does. 3, 2, 1. Whoa, this thing is... Wait, this thing's huge. Oh my god. Oh, wait. It shoots out these Brain of Confusions? Does that do damage, though? I can't tell. Okay, maybe it has a chance to have the same effect as the accessory. Let's try it out on this face monster. Here we go. Back. Um, yeah, I really can't tell. Oh, no, okay. It does not deal damage with the... Brain of Confusion projectiles. I guess it's just for looks then. But in any case, I will be using this as my main weapon now because it does have a higher base damage. And I still keep the projectiles from the other sites. Okay, let's also make the Crimson Armor set. There we go. Only one defense now. And the Death Ringer pickaxe. Now, I did manage to find a bunch of gravitation potions in the jungle. When I was searching for that stupid jungle rose. So I'm going to go up to some sky islands to grab some more accessories. And then after that, then I'm going to go kill some goblin scouts for their tattered cloths. To then make the goblin battle standard. Because I don't think the goblin army is going to spawn anytime soon. And I do want the goblin tinkerer to spawn so I can start combining my accessories. Okay, here's my first chest. And we got the shiny red balloon. Here's the second one. Okay, the Star Fairy. Let's toss that away. And here is the last Sky Island. Now this should have the Fledgling Wings. There we go. Okay, let's go to the edge of the world now to find some Goblin Scouts. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go to the dungeon and try to find, if possible, a water candle that's closer to the surface so I can make the Goblin Scouts spawn faster. Okay, we're here. And there is our water candle. Okay, now let's go to the right side of the world. Oh, you know what? I could have just went to the left. I'm a little bit dumb. Okay, and all I need to do now is wait until the morning. Because I don't think they spawn during the night. Okay, here's one. And I need ten of them. So they usually drop two at a time. Wait, what? Okay, I guess we're fighting the King Slime then. Oh, is that what happens? I think I remember. If I stay on the edge of the world for too long, then it does have a chance to spawn the King Slime. 
Oh, and here's our last Goblin Scout. There we go. We got 11 now. Let's take care of this boss real quick. And then we'll head back. Okay. King Slime has now been defeated. Let's see if we can get the King Slime out. Okay, unfortunately not, but that's okay. Time to leave. Now we're going to make the Sawmill. And then the Loom. And then we can make the Goblin Battle Standard. And let's just summon this right away. Alright, now the Goblin Army has been defeated. Let's go mine down towards Hell and see if I can find the Goblin Tinkerer along the way. Oh! There's the Bound Goblin! Okay! Now let's buy the Rocket Boots and the Workshop from him. And then I'm gonna go reforge some of my weapons. They don't cost too much, so we can do it. Demonic, okay. Godly, perfect. And then this one. Godly as well. And a legendary, okay. Oh, that is a much bigger size. Wow. That 10% size really did something to it. Oh my god. Okay, let's put our Tinkerer's Workshop down. And then we're going to make the Blue Horseshoe Balloon. As well as... Lightning Boots, because we do have the Egglet and the Anklet of the Wind. There we go, Lightning Boots. And now we're going to finish mining down towards Hell, because I'll be mining some Hellstone to craft my next Scythe. And that Scythe is going to be the Hell Swipe, which has 41 melee damage. Okay, I'm finally in Hell. And if I recall, I'm pretty sure I found a Obsidian Potion. Yes, I did. Okay, we're going to bring that with me. Just so I can mine the Hellstone a lot easier. Okay, that should be more than enough. We have 339 Hellstone. Let's take the Obsidian out of my chest. Oh no, I forgot. The most important thing. The Hellforge. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's first make the Molten Armor Sets. And that's going to give us a nice boost to our melee damage. And then I'll be making the Molten Pickaxe to mine the Hard Mode Ores whenever that arrives. And then finally, the Hell Swipe. Oh, and we got Sharp on it. Plus 16% damage. So it now has 52 damage. Okay, let's test this bad boy out. 3, 2, 1. Oh, okay. So it does have a projectile then. So it acts like a flamethrower. I think I'll be using the Tissue Scythe still as my main weapon. Because I do really like the range of this weapon because of the size. And it still keeps the projectile from the Hell Swipe. Let's build a few more NPC houses. Just so I can get the Goblin Tinkerer to move in here. Okay, there we go. And now, let's make our way to the dungeon. So I can set up an arena and then summon Skeletron when it becomes night. Okay, the arena is now done. Now let's wait for nighttime. Okay, it is finally nighttime. Let's talk to the old man. Summon the boss. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my god, that is a lot of damage. Okay, that hand's almost done. Okay, that's one hand down. And that is... Two. There we go. Okay. Just the head now. And you're done. Wow, that was insanely fast. Okay, I have access to the dungeon now, which means another scythe. The next scythe that I'll be getting is the bone scythe. And this is made from 50 bones and the Muramasa. Okay, is it in this one? Wow. It is. Okay, there we go. Okay, that is enough bones. All I'm looking for now is the Cobalt Shield. There it is. Okay, let's get out of here. And now let's make the Bone Scythe. Okay, this is a scythe made of bones and a Muramasa shoots a piece of a spine. Okay, here we go. 
Let's see what it does. Three, two, one. Oh, it shoots out the cursed skulls from the Book of Skulls. Okay, but do they home in is the real question. Okay, there's a couple zombies here. Let's see if it does. Three, two, one. They do. Perfect. Okay. And it also works when I have my tissue scythe as my main weapon. Okay, many of you guys are thinking that it's wall flesh time. But there's just one more scythe to make, which is going to be the honeycomb hunter. So I'm going to have to take on the queen bee. I need 50 honey blocks, 30 rich mahogany, and 50 bee wax from the boss. Okay, and here's our first one. Let's just build one platform because I think that's all I need. Because I do not want to be falling in this honey because that's just going to slow me down by a lot. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh, I wish I had the DPS meter for this. Should be on. Oh, there we go. Okay, we have 17 B wax. So I think I need to beat the boss at least two more times. And here's our second hive. Okay, that's the second one down. We have 36 B-Wax now. Yeah, so one more should do it. Okay, and this is our last beehive. All right, all done. 56 B-Wax, okay. And here are some honey blocks. Hopefully I can get 50 here. Oh yeah, I can definitely hit 50. There we go. Now I can make the honeycomb hunter. Okay, your enemies will say, not the bees. Shoots bees. Yep. Okay. I wonder what this thing does. Oh, it shoots bees. I didn't know that. They're very tiny, but it's there. It's kind of hard to see with all the other projectiles in the way. And I'm just going to assume that the bees do home in just like the cursed skulls, which is going to be very nice. Now, there is the spine scythe. However... I don't have the corruption in my world, so I will not be getting it. Okay, and that's all the sites that is possible to get in pre-hard mode. So it is finally time to take on the Wall of Flesh. Okay, I finally made it to the end of the world. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, I do have some pretty decent knockback, so I don't really have to worry about the hungries getting close to me. And it's already down to more than half health. Oh my god. Okay, back out. Kill it, kill it, kill it. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, let's open this bad boy up. And unfortunately, we did not get the warrior's emblem, that's okay. Now that I'm in hard mode, let's go back to the crimson and use our pwn hammer to break some altars. And then we can start mining the hard mode ores. Okay, let's see what we're gonna get. Palladium, mithril, and adamantite, okay. Okay, we're good on palladium. Let's make the palladium pickaxe. Now on to mithril. Okay, that's enough mithril. Let's make the Mithril Anvil, and then the Mithril Pickaxe. Okay, lastly, the Adamantite. Okay, and that should be enough Adamantite. 338. Let's make the Adamantite Forge, and then the full Adamantite Armor Set. Oh my god, huge 74 defense now. And then... We can make the Adamantite Scythe. Now, does this do anything? Three, two, one. Oh! Oh my god, it has a heat ray. Kind of unusual for the scythe. But still, 
that's pretty sick. Okay, so I'm pretty beefed up on armor now. I'll be getting the Shadow Flame Scythe, so I do have to summon the Goblin Army once more to get the Shadow Flame Hexstall. And I need to farm 10 Souls of Night. Okay, and hopefully this is the last one. Nope, okay, I just need one more. Oh, and here's the last one. There we go. Okay, let's make the Goblin Battle Standard once more. And let's just summon it. Oh, and here's the Goblin Summoner. Let's see if we can get the Shadow Flame Hexstall in our first kill. Nope, that is the Shadow Flame Bow. Let's get rid of that. Here's another. Shadow Flame Knife. Not what I want. There it is. Okay. Third time's the charm. Okay, Goblin Army is now defeated. Okay, now let's go to the Crimson and farm 10 Souls of Night. Okay, just one more Soul of Night. Oh, and there it is. Okay. Oh, just got here. Okay, now I can make the Shadow Flame Scythe. And I have a pretty good idea of what it does. And that's going to be the same effect as the Shadow Flame Hexdoll. Yep. All right. But now I don't have to use any mana for it. Now let's go ahead and reforge this. It's really cheap, so let's... Okay, I was about to say, let's get the best reforge possible. And we got it. Before I take on the mechanical bosses, I do want some better mobility. So I'm going to go up to a sky island to kill some wyverns for souls of flight. So I can make myself a pair of wings. Okay, that is enough souls of flight. I've got 45 now. And I guess I'll farm some more souls of light. Just because the hollowed is right over here. Okay, and that's enough souls of light. We've got 25 now. So let's go ahead and make our angel wings. Okay, so the first mechanical boss that I'll be fighting are the twins. Without further ado, let the show begin. And of course, I'll be aiming for the spasmatasm first. Okay. There are a lot of bees and skulls chasing the boss, so I should probably slow down to let them catch up. Oh, look at the damage! Oh my... Okay, second phase. Back out a bit more. Okay. Oh my god, heal. Wait, I'm actually a low health. Oh my god. Okay, almost dead. Okay, that's one down. Okay, let's let all these skulls attack it. Oh, that was huge. Okay, second phase for this one now. And you're done. Okay, that was a bit of a close call. Now, with some hollowed bars, I can make another scythe. The promise. Okay, and that is 10 scythes now that we have. So, the angels bless this. Shoots a spirit. Okay, let's see how it looks like. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. I think this projectile is from the Ghastly Glaive, if I remember correctly. Although I've never used that weapon before. Now I know there's still time left in the night, so let's go ahead and summon Skeletron Prime. Oh, got a bit too close there. Okay, it's almost at half health. And I am using the Promise as my main weapon now because it does shoot out the projectiles much faster. I'm getting low on health, so five more seconds until I can heal. There we go. Now we should be good for the rest of the fight. Thousand more health. 
and you're done. Okay, I don't know where the moon is right now, but I'm pretty sure it's only about halfway through the night. So I'm just going to summon the destroyer and try to beat it before morning comes. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my god, that damage. Right where it's all clumped up. Okay, and the projectile from the promise does pass through the boss, so that's good. Okay, 25% health now. Oh, all my MACs are dying. That's not good. Yeah, I really wish I had a DPS meter here. Okay, and that's it. All the mechanical bosses are done. Now with all the souls from the bosses, let's go ahead and make the pickaxe axe. And unfortunately, I do not have enough hollowed bars, so I cannot make the full hollowed armor sets. But to be honest, I don't think I need it this time, just because of how much damage I'm doing. Next up is of course Plantera, so let's go to the jungle and search for the Plantera bulb. Oh, there's a Plantera bulb. Perfect. Okay, so I guess I'll start blowing up an area for the arena right here. Okay, and the arena is all done. I will be grabbing some potions in my chest because I do not want to be messing this up. Otherwise, I'm going to have to find another Plantera bulb and chances are I might have to make a new arena. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay. The first phase is always the easiest and it's very simple to dodge. All I gotta do is circle around it. Second phase coming up. Now I should back out a little bit more. Okay. Oh, I took a hit from that. Should be dead now. There we go. Okay, let's make our way into the temple now to take on Golem. And that's where I can get my next scythe. Okay, here we are. Okay. And this arena is a pretty decent size. So I should have no problems maneuvering around. Let's just clear out all the traps first. And then let's put down a campfire along with the heart lantern. And now let's get this thing started. Three, two, one. Yeah, this thing has no chance against me. Okay, one hand down. The head's done. And you are finished. Okay, let's see what we get. Got the armored sunstone and some beetle husks. But that's not exactly what I'm looking for. I am looking for the Eye of the Golem, as well as the Pixaw, so I can start mining the Lizard Bricks. And then combining the Bricks with the Eye of the Golem, I could then make the Claw of the Golem. So we have six more tries, and I'm sure that I'll be able to get everything I need within those six tries. So let's start it back up again. Okay. Are we in luck this time? Nope. Okay, let's try again. Okay, third time's the charm, maybe? Okay, there we go. Got one of the items. So I need 50 of these bricks. There we go. Now all I need is the Eye of the Golem.
There we go. Okay, got the Eye of the Golem now. I can now leave this place. And we do have a pirate invasion, which is going to be super annoying. But first, let me go ahead and make the Claw of the Golem. There we go. Okay, that's fine. Okay, put that in my inventory. Alright, here we go. Oh! It summons the fist from the golem. Oh my god. Okay, but I noticed that if I use the promise as my main weapon, then it doesn't really shoot out the projectiles. Because I'm pretty sure the claw of the golem is overtaking it, or has priority over it. So, what happens if I do this? There we go. That fixes everything. Oh my god, I just realized the size of the scythe as well. Now, is it bigger than the tissue scythe? No, no. Tissue scythe is definitely way bigger. Okay, let's go take care of the pirate invasion first. Here we go. Pirate invasion has now been defeated. Alright, the next weapon that I'll be making is the light maker. So I need 25 specter bars and the broken hero sword. It is daytime though, but it's not quite halfway, so I think I still have a pretty good chance of getting the Broken Hero Sword. So let's just start it up. And then let's just put down a Water Candle, so we get a higher chance of Mothrons to spawn. Okay, here's our first Mothron. Oh, there it is. Okay, our first one. Nice. Now let's head back into the jungle to mine some Chlorophytes, because I didn't really get the chance to do that. I only have 23 right now. Oh, actually, you know what? Never mind. Before I do that, there is a scythe that I can get from the Solar Eclipse. And I can't believe that just passed my mind. But yeah, I can get the Deathsicle from those Reapers. Oh my god, there it is. Wait! And we got legendary on it. Oh my god. No way. There we go. Oh, that is sexy. Okay, that's gonna add a bunch of damage now. Okay, we got another Deathsicle. But I won't be using that because I'm only allowed one of each type. Okay, and the Solar Eclipse has finally ended. Now let's get back on to task. But I'm just gonna make the Beetle Wings first. Just because it's a lot better than Angel Wings. Okay, I should be good on Floor Fight now. Got 342. Now let's start making our way towards the dungeon so I can start farming some Ectoplasm. Okay, I got the Paladin Shield. Gonna replace the Cobalt Shield because this is obviously better. Okay, I've got 25 Ectoplasm. That should be more than enough. Alright. So I have the Spectre Bars now, and the Broken Hero Sword, so now let's make the Light Maker. Okay, this one shoots an angel. Here we go, 3, 2, 1. Oh, I think it's the same one as the Promise then? It is! Oh, but I'm pretty sure the Light Maker shoots out the angels a lot faster, and more frequently as well. Okay, now it's time to craft another weapon. However, I do need to find the Martian Probe. So let's head over to the right side of the world and try to find it. Oh my god, here it is. There we go. Okay, that didn't take too long at all. Oh my god. Okay, now we have the Martians invading. So I'm going to have to kill the Martian Saucers in order to get the Influx Waiver. And then with the Influx Waiver, I can combine it with the Martian Conduit Platings to make the Martian Scythe. Okay, well, I already have enough Conduit Platings, so all I need now are the Martian Saucers to spawn. Okay, here's our first one. There we go, on our first try too. Nice. Okay, let's quickly make the Martian Scythe. There we go. Now, what does this thing do? Oh! Wait, what? <laughs> it has the same projectiles as the Icicle. Okay, very strange. I really thought it would have been the same effect as the Influx Waver, but I guess not. Okay, the Martians have finally been defeated. 
now there are two other scythes that I'll be getting, and they are from the Pumpkin Moon event, which will be the Harvester, and the Frost Moon event, which will be the Hollythorn. I think I will be doing the Pumpkin Moon event first, just because I think 400 Spooky Wood is much more easier to get than a chance to get the Razor Pine. However, the night is about to end, so we're gonna have to wait until the next night to summon it. Okay, it is finally nighttime, so let's start up the Pumpkin Moon event. 3, 2, 1. Jesus, I am just annihilating everything. Oh my god. Oh, wow, that's a lot of damage. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely be able to get all of my spooky wood. No problem at all. Okay, just three more spooky wood. There we go. Okay, let's quickly make this before I die. Where is it? Uh, harvester, done. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, now I can shoot out homing pumpkins. Okay, so I think I have about three weapons to have homing projectiles now. The honeycomb hunter, the harvester, and then the bone sight. Pumpkin moon has finally ended. Oh my god, there is a lot of loot on the ground. Okay, I mean, we got the witch's broom. So that's going to help us with the moon lore fight later on. Okay, and now let's wait until the next night to summon the frost moon events. Okay, the next night is finally here. So let's start up the frost moon event now. Jesus Christ. I feel like my critical strike chance is super high. Okay, well, they're all above 20%. But that's a lot of like... <laughs> that's a lot of critical hits. Oh my god, that thing just got melted. Okay, here we go. Our first Ice Queen. Please drop the Razor Pine. Oh, I killed it. Oh, that's the Blizzard Staff. Never mind. Oh, what? Oh, it's right here. Wait. Oh, does it not drop from the Ice Queen? Okay, I guess not. Let's quickly make the Holly Thorn. There we go. It sprays holly leaves. There we go. And I think these projectiles are from the leaf blower. Okay. That's all done. Okay, so there are just two more scythes to get. And that's going to be the solar scythe. That's made from 10 solar fragments. And the no mercy. Which is made from 30 luminite bars. Now there is the Santa sleigh, however, it's not obtainable because it isn't Christmas season just yet. So we're going to have to scratch this off the board. But if you guys are wondering what that scythe does, it basically has the same effects as the Christmas tree sword. So just for showing purposes, this is what it does. It shoots out these ornaments, but they don't fall onto the ground. They kind of just hover over the air. But anyways. Let's head over to the dungeon now and fight the Lunatic Cultist so I can summon the Celestial Pillars. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna stand still, one spot. Oh my god, look at all that numbers. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> that was insane. Okay, let's head over to the Solar Pillar first and then once I destroy that pillar and make my weapon then I can start with the rest okay that's all done let's grab those fragments and then get back on home okay here we go the solar scythe and this one does have the highest melee damage out of every other scythe right now shoot a flame phoenix here we go three two one Oh my god. That is nasty. Oh god. Okay, okay, we have to reforge this. Does it cost a lot? Wow. Less than a gold. Okay. Let's try to get legendary on this thing or godly. No, I just skipped it. Oh, really? Okay. 
I was starting to think that it wasn't possible to get it. That's why I kind of spammed it really fast. There we go. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm just gonna obliterate Moonlord. Okay, and that is the last scythe until Moonlord. Now let's take care of the remaining Celestial Pillars. Okay, Stardust Pillar is done. Okay, Nebula Pillar is finished. One more to go. Okay, and that's the last pillar destroyed. Let's head on back and prepare for the final boss, Moonlord. There we go. Let's do this thing. Wow, the right hand's almost dead already. Oh, heal. Oh, I mean teleport. Oh. Okay, let's put this closer to my hot bar. Okay. Heal up. Let's not kill the hands now. Otherwise, things are going to get very complicated. Let's try to pick out this middle eye first. Okay, there we go. Now it's just the core. Oh my god, I'm taking too much damage here. Heal up. Okay, we should be good now. Come on, almost there. Oh my god. And we're all done. Okay. Let's craft our Illuminate Bars. Oh, we don't have enough, actually. We needed a 30, right? Oh, six more. Okay, so it does look like I do have to kill Moonlord one more time. But I can just make the Celestial Sigil. There we go. And then let's just summon it again. Oh my god. 26 health. Okay. <laughs> that was really close. There we go. Now, it should have enough. Alright, let's craft the No Mercy. Now, this is the absolute best scythe. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! It has some... Um, what was it? The projectiles from Betsy's Wrath, I'm pretty sure? I see, okay. And let's go ahead and reforge this. Okay, this costs a lot of gold. I guess we'll keep murderous. Okay, now that I've finally made the last weapon, let's just do Moonlord one last time. Here we go. Oh my! Wait, that damage was insane. Oh my god! Okay, teleport! Oh, that was close. Look at that! Wait, look at this hand! Oh my! Okay. That's dead. This one is dead as well. Okay, it's just the core. <laughs> oh my, yo, that difference having the no mercy. I killed Moonlord so much faster. Alright, that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching. 
This was an absolute crazy experience and the damage I was dealing was out of this world. But I do wish that the scythes had their own unique effects rather than having the same ones as other weapons. If you guys want to try out this mod for yourselves, I'll leave all the mods I've used in the description below. I hope you all enjoyed watching. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment on what other mods or ideas I should try out, and of course, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Peace.